In the field of pharmacology, an inverse agonist is an agent that binds to the same receptor as an agonist but induces a pharmacological response opposite to that agonist. A neutral antagonist has no activity in the absence of an agonist or inverse agonist but can block the activity of either. Inverse agonists have opposite actions to those of agonists but the effects of both of these can be blocked by antagonists. A prerequisite for an inverse agonist response is that the receptor must have a constitutive also known as intrinsic or basal level activity in the absence of any ligand. An agonist increases the activity of a receptor above its basal level, whereas an inverse agonist decreases the activity below the basal level. The efficacy of a full agonist is by definition 100%, a neutral antagonist has 0% efficacy, and an inverse agonist has examples An example of a receptor that possesses basal activity and for which inverse agonists have been identified is the GABAA receptor. Agonists for the GABAA receptor, such as benzodiazepines, create a sedative effect, whereas inverse agonists have anxiogenic effects, for example, RO15-4513, or even convulsive effects, certain beta-carbolines, two known endogenous inverse agonists are the agouti-related peptide, AGRP, and its associated peptide agouti signaling peptide, ASIP. Both appear naturally in humans, and each binds melanocortin receptors 4 and 1, MC4R and MC1R, respectively, with nanomolar affinities. The opioid antagonists naloxone and naltrexone are also partial inverse agonists at new opioid receptors. See also agonist receptor antagonist references. Further reading external links Jeffries W.B., 17 February 1999. Inverse agonists for medical students. Office of Medical Education, Courses, IDC 105 Principles of Pharmacology. Creighton University School of Medicine, Department of Pharmacology. Retrieved 12 August 2008. Inverse Agonists, an Illustrated Tutorial Panasar K. Guzman F. Pharmacology Corner. 2012.